action. Good day and welcome to the dream paradise of Kotal. And today's vlog, oh man, it is awesome. I, I, I love Kotal, I really do. And I'll, sh I'll show you why. I mean, right here, little dive instructor, giving a little diving lesson right there in the pool. Nice, relaxing jazz as I sit in the Copy Espresso Bar and Restaurant, my favourite location on the island, with a wonderful view. <laughs> right there, a pot of tea and my bacon and potato. I forgot what I ordered for a minute. Bacon, potato and spinach omelette, look. And with some toasted bread. I mean, how good does that look? Thai basil, not spinach. It gives it that, <laughs> that, that that taste of an oddness, but it's awesome, man. Mmm. Mmm. This vlog is all about how busy Ho Tao is right now. I wasn't going to start this vlog this early at the daytime. I was going to start it later when the place does get really busy and everybody gets out of bed because all the youngsters are right here right now and uh, where I'm up really early it's really quiet but as the day go on it gets busier and busier so why did I start my vlog right here because I was just sitting there just really enjoying how cool it is to sit here order a pot of tea and have an omelette and just look a beautiful view with the relaxing sound of the waves just blazing about man Koto is awesome. So I will show you in this vlog. Yes, and the young lady is coming with my fresh milk. You're yeah, coming, darling. You are. <laughs> Kapoom. Thank you. Kapoom thank, thank you. Have a great day. Awesome. Staff here are lovely, by the way. They really are. That's why it's my favourite place on the island. So, welcome to today's vlog. So yes, busy Kotal, peak season, plus minuses. Well, the first one I've just encountered is I've come to Shark Bay. You guys know how much I like swimming with them sharks. Well, the amount of times I've been down here now, this is now made private. And they're charging 50 baht only for you to go down to what now has been private. Where I have been down many times before. I have your I know. You see? There you go. Have, 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 have big sight. Have to read thing here. No, no sanding. So that's the attitude you get. So I put bad, the film bad, on. Bad, bad, bad toilet. <laughs> oh man. Mate. I've just gone down there, been down here so many times. My, 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 my. So there you go, that's like what I do. Bad, bad, bad. Really bad. I really do promote. Really bad, toilets. Really do promote these people in a good light. But if they want to. You pay, you pay money for here. If they want to persist to show themselves in that kind of light, and I haven't got a problem fil filming them. It's outrageous. Outrageous. Now I know most of you think, ah, oh, just give them the 50 bar. I'll give them a right hander, mate. They are conning you. It is not that property. It is not private. They just put signs up because they like to take tourist money. It's such a shame that wherever there's good, yeah, 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 you'll always see bad. So if you want to go to Shark Bay and avoid all that rubbish, you can park your bike here. And then if you walk down there, you'll come to a little secret beach where you can, and you've got a much closer, better access to Shark Bay. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> Thai people just cannot help themselves. They cannot. And that's really annoyed me. 
because you know I promote Kotao in a real positive way but if people want to be real negative then I think that woman just made herself look how horrible and negative they are for the point over 50 baht annoyed Ray Beach. Ah. Man, look. What a wait. Now I have just walked from the big old rocks where I'm living all the way to those posh resorts right at the end with a body cam on. Did I walked the whole beach for a new channel I'm making. Beach walks. I'm, I'm having the lot, people. I am. I'm getting pretty busy. As is Kotao. Finally, there's people here laying about on the beach. It's difficult to walk on the beach now without trodden on somebody. Good day, ladies. You good? Enjoying the day? Yes? Okay, good for you. Don't get too bad, young lady. More sun cream. <laughs> Communicating with Russians is hard work. But if you don't try, you will never improve. So, <laughs> trying is my speciality. Yes, I have. So I started one. You know those vlogs where people walk up the beach or whatever? Just no sound, just with a camera on. You know, faceless. Really easy to do. Nobody know where you are, don't get any grief, don't have to bring any personal issues or any, anything character based whatsoever. Just walk up the beach with your camera on, with your chest, which I just did. And I think most of you will find it quite interesting <laughs> walking up to the beach. You know I've got an eagle eye, so I'm like walking everywhere. I was all over the beach walking up there. And I thought I'd walk back and just show you how busy Syre Beach is getting. Now it's not packed, it's a nice busy, but all these bars get a lot busier after five o'clock. I say it's just coming up to, I think, probably midday. For me, it's a long day, but for most people on holiday or backpacking, they don't normally get up till 11, 12, one o'clock. So usually out until stupid hour of an evening. But it is good to see Kotal busy and I've been watching the boats this morning at the docks because I've got my BFC on because I'm now making short films cinematic films on the Sean King channel there will be a link to those vlogs in the description as they will for all my other channels good day ladies Are you good yeah, you are food good yeah, yeah. yeah. wicked enjoy the day Cheers. Awesome. Communicating. The ladies on the beach. What, 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 what else do you want to do in the daytime? I enjoy the beach and it is hot. And the reason I made a little bit of an effort today is because I believe it's going to rain tomorrow. So I am making the most of my short time here on Kotel. And the reason I came to Kotel was to make this vlog literally about how busy uh, Koh Tao is now and then when I move on to Koh Panyang I will be making vlogs about how busy that is there compared to when I was there before when I was kind of just coming out of lockdown and all these places well Koh Panyang and Koh Samiri were apocalyptic almost you know and I believe there is a waste problem in Koh Panyang with all the rubbish and bin bags absolutely everywhere so I'm hoping when I go back I can have a better positive outlook on Copenhagen. But these are the boats, the taxi boats, that will take you to Meng, Meng Yuan Island over there. And they have gone up to 300 baht. They used to be 200 baht, but they're now up to 300 baht per trip. Sure, I've seen this lady before. Good morning. Good morning. 
How are you? Good. Good, you look good. Awesome. <laughs> it is good. It's good. It's, it's, it's a, it is, what would I say, it's a privilege to have a camera walking on the beach. It gives you an excuse, guys. If you're young, can't chat women up or a bit like nervous about approaching women, then get a GoPro and put it on the end of the stick. Don't even know how to turn it on. It just gives you a good opportunity and a good reason to talk to women rather than going to those silly bars and getting your wallet out. Which, of course, is an option. Options are there for everyone. <laughs> good eye! You people good? Yep. Enjoying the chilled out atmosphere of Kotel? Yep. Brilliant! Thank you. Have a good day. Good Cheers. Chilled, man. Cool. <laughs> and it's wicked. People like it when the, the strange man with his box on a stick talks to him. It's good, man. I like it. And I really like it when people come up to me in the street and go, oh, you're that dead horse guy. I am that guy. And it makes my day. Every day. <laughs> it is awesome and this is the lotus bar which scantily clad ladies are laying about this very moment but they will be replaced with chairs and seats and tables for tonight's sunset which will happen this is the queen is that the queen that's the queen <laughs> queenie right there look the queen and that sunset will happen out there around about six o'clock this evening and if if all goes well i will be filming it but then again <laughs> the time i get back to my walk i've walked this beach when i get back i would have walked the full length of it there and back twice when i now get back so i could be it'd be that time of day wouldn't it to waste my life quite possibly and i will i might i might make a vlog at the murdered stones where i'm staying Yes, yes, I'll see. Oh, man, everywhere you look. All right, ladies? Good, good, good for you. Happy, relaxed, laid back people on this beach. They're all everywhere. You're all right, buddy? Good. Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger had a haircut. <laughs> no. Don't know. What was it? When I was sat at the pond, having a laugh with my mate Paul Whitehouse, because I was wearing my old 70s tennis shorts, my Beyond Bugs, Beyond Bug was actually sat in the seat where I was talking. I didn't know it at the time, but two days later, on the Phuket News, I see a picture of Beyond Bug, his wife and his son, at the Big Buddha Temple in Phuket. And I recognised the son and I recognised the woman, but I did not recognise Beyond Borg. So how funny was that? Me on the beach, wearing my Beyond Borgs, whilst Beyond Borg sat. That was in the pond, by the way. He sat in my chair in the pond. Beyond Borg. Yes, he did. And I didn't recognise him when I stood one metre away from him. It didn't, wasn't until two days later I saw the press release that I recognised the woman and the crazy looking boy he was walking about who kind of caught my attention otherwise I wouldn't have known who they were so <laughs> how funny I wish I'd have recognised him because I could have got him to sign yeah, my, my Beyond Borg Adidas shorts I missed a trick you alright ladies? enjoying the day? cool, awesome, thank you you alright darling? hello, hello. you alright? Yeah, I am. Are you a Londoner? Are you alright? Yeah, are you alright? I'm not chatting up your wife. Man, I do it all the time, buddy. I'm sorry, you're alright. Enjoy the day. How is that? Is that good? Good, it's not bad. Good, man. That's what I'm not going to go and do. Have a good day, buddy. <laughs> Caught chat chatting his missus up. That happened. Compliment. That's how I look at it. Oh, man, look in the shadow wicked chilled out in the shadow and I tell you what it's a lot cooler here than out in that sun it really is it really is man Whew. oh the water the tide is going out I had to wade through that water on my walk here I did 
hopefully, luckily, we'll not have to wade through it on the way back. I know, as you can see, the restaurants, this pizza place here, that's used to be packed. That's been getting, every time I walk past, that's been busy, really busy. <laughs> Film there. She's turned away. <laughs> okay. Wow. No, no, the tide is still in. Still. Oh man, I've got to wade through that water on the way back. Oh man. Unless I go for a little detour on the street. Mm. I think that is what I'm going to do. Go for a detour. Good day. It's all right. <laughs> cool. It's a weird one when, when strangers just talk to you. Like, uh, yeah, it's a funny one how people react, man. Instant, like, you talk to me. What are you talk to me for? It's funny, man. They just make people smile. It's cool. So, let's have a go. That is the beach. Well, half of it. I think the next part down is even busier. But give me a second. We're going to have a look at the walking street. This is the little walkway that runs parallel to the beach. And it isn't as busy as it was earlier. I reckon everybody is heading to the beach. There's a cool little spot. Everywhere is, well, most places have started to reopen. Along here, cool little spots for massage, proper massage, massage legit. Cool restaurants, oh man, it's a cool spot. The taxi boat guy, there who will rent you sups or take you to Kung Nang Yuan Island. Well, as you can see, the street. A little bit quiet. Let's go back <laughs> onto the beach. Like the beach. It's more happening on the beach than the street. Body cap. Body cap. Da -da. Oh man. Yes. Oh man. They even got tables and chairs out for the seasoning sunset which is quite something to sit out here drink food relax some nice relaxing music <laughs> to just sit and watch that sunset which hopefully i will be doing this very evening if <laughs> i'm not sound asleep now this lady here, I'm going to show you her office. I am, she's now doing something. But I'm going to show you her office where she sits. So I've walked past it many times. And that's her office right there. She sits there on her computer in her office. She does. This cool coffee shop. Well, actually I ate there yesterday. It was all right. <laughs> <laughs> the breakfast was all right. Oh man, it is wicked. I do enjoy Syrae Beach myself when I'm here. It's just a cool place and you get good food, good restaurants. Now here's another dive boat. I've been filming all the dive boats up at the jetty where most of them are just out there sitting now. And they're now loading up all the oxygen in this boat where this will go out. So perhaps that big pink or red one out there. They'll load up the oxygen, they'll load up all the gear, and then they'll load up all the people. And this will be from the free diver course. Now the divers courses have gone up a thousand baht from last time I were here. I used to see them at 8,000 baht. I've now actually seen them at 9,900. So they've actually gone up 2,000 baht. But compared to 
the lowest season. It's still relatively cheap, 250 quid to do a three or four day paddy course which is all right but where else are you going to go diving you probably do it you probably never ever use it again i don't know Look. Look at that. echo for hang on just go for a thumbnail I enjoy my day but <laughs> my lips are dry there's only one thing <laughs> that's gonna cure them oh man no I ain't got to jump I ain't got to jump the <laughs> the river of sludge <laughs> have I <laughs> Boulders. I've got one of them, a boulder, just like that, in my bathroom. I have. <laughs> oh mate, I oh, know I can go on these steps, which is good. Got another dive centre. There's a man there getting his ear clipped. Good day. So I'm walking back on these steps, which I get a little bit slippery, but they're so cool. The water is crystal clear. Crystal. And there was a party going on when I was out earlier. There's one there, look. What is with the balloon there? There's a few balloons, look. Out here this morning there and over here, there was about 20 balloons. I did take a couple of pictures of them. I reckon that was probably everybody else. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, I don't know what that is. What you do? I'll tell you, that place we went to the shake is really good. With the balloons. I don't know if it's, Oxygen, CO2, is it? With them little metal canisters. Don't know if that's <laughs> what that is. <laughs> Wicked. Another dive school, Phoenix divers. Looks like they're now getting ready to either go out or come back in. These boats, like I say, they use them for the tanks and then all the gear oh man so they've probably been here doing a little sniffer test in the swimming pool or perhaps out here in the shallows you all right good good hey eh? good 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 for you huh <laughs> Wee, cheers oh man wicked now i know the sun is up there but it is a wicked, as we're coming towards the cheaper seats where I tend to stay. I think, yeah I am. Like I say, these bars are good to chill out and relax. There's a bit of music playing, so I try and cover up the best I can. But yeah, this bar is, this bar here, it gets quite busy with the locals. Um, so I'll probably be back there later at some point for sunset which will happen over there i believe and i did meet a subscriber there this morning who called my name when i was out walking he was there with his ma <laughs> aussies so that was pretty cool how are you buddy are you good i'm good good man cheers buddy cheers i think that was borat I'm not entirely sure <laughs> You get a load of superstars about in Thailand this time of year. You do. You do, so, you know. I think that was Borat. Funny. But, oh man, so a proper chilled out part of the beach. Right where I live. 
right on my doorstep. Oh man, that's really cool. Really cool. And like I say, this is Kotel busy. Doesn't seem that busy to me. I see how busy it is for the sunset and that will be this vlog, I guess. To so say why I'm on Kota, I don't really know what vlogs I'm going to make because I've kind of covered them in the past and like I said, i just come here, did book a couple of extra days because yesterday I was absolutely exhausted and um, I was in bed by half seven. <laughs> And I had to last out till then. Could have gone to bed at six quite easily. But no, I had to hang it out. I did. Oh man. Wicked. Whew. And the apartment is alright. It is, it's alright. So this is like Sirey Beach right now. That's how busy Kota really is. And for me to emphasize that, I am gonna have to come out see this sound I can hear it from my room that's why I booked uh, the R1 room because that sound does not bother me one bit I don't I like it it's any natural sound any natural I don't mind how loud it is whether it's birds whatever beetles couldn't care less the sound is natural I'm into it I like it <laughs> I do and like I say, I have the view, I do, the view, I have the room with a view to the ocean. I do. Right here. Ah, oh, my laundry's done already. I only put that in. Laundry there, 100 baht for two kilos. I put that laundry in there this morning. Now that's my room. And that's my view and my sound. At 800 baht, by the way. Cash deal. Happy. Right. Whew. I'm gonna have a break. Filmmaking. It's not as easy as it looks. It is not. I now came out on the beach to film the sunset of what is left of it. Now it looked okay a few minutes ago, but it actually looked like it was gonna be a good sunset. But as you can see, as I've sat here, <laughs> I've had all sorts of people just come and stood right right in front of me. I've had an old man, I've had a Japanese old man with his boyfriend, I've had an Italian man in his skimpy pants, I've had girls in their phones, I've had all sorts. And now the sun's gone. And I've not got my shot. I thought I would have, but no. But the beach has filled up. It's pretty busy, look. But that is tonight's sunset, which is extremely disappointing. It is. And all these people, right, there's fucking thousands, I'm sorry man, there's thousands of them, all come to see a sunset. And it's just disappeared. Like, even I've brought my drone, camera, tripod, the lot, BFC. <laughs> and it ain't, uh, I just ain't got the shots that I wanted. Even when I've got like the shot keyed up, been some banging down <laughs> whatever so it's not it's not been easy i sat here for about an hour and now look that sun now as, as if i've been talking has gone and um there's not got to be any color in the sky i've been trying to photo, film these little boats going past in the background i can zoom in and when the sun was up I, I i've tweaked the camera so i get a real proper sunset vision <sighs> Right, it's bugger off. I paid my bill. Big Leo, that's how long I've been here. Right. Oh, man. Let's go. Let's go home. <laughs> man, look, the beach is packed. Fudge. Proper packed. The fire show. Oh, mate, I've got to stay out for the fire show. Ah! 
Oh, I'll go home now and get wasted, don't I? I do, that's what I want to do. I suppose I can film the fire show. Look, fire show is coming. That's all there, look, it's got all his gear. It's got his Molotovs, look, Molotov. Right there. <laughs> and everybody is waiting for the fire show. It's the sunset. What's disappointing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh mate, it is proper busy, proper busy. I've never seen the place this busy. Good day buddy, you good? Good. Smiley, happy people. And someone has his drone up up there. Mate, the trees are lightening up. The music is turning up. And I think <laughs> it's got to be a bit of a party on this beach tonight. I think there is. Ah oh, man, I've got to hang about for a fire show. Would it be wrong of me <laughs> to not put the fire show on this on this vlog? It will be on my. Cyrae Beach Hotel, little short film, my cinematic films, which I'm trying to make. Oh man, the dreadlocks, look. look how long her dreads are. They go right down to her. They do. Her dreads go all the way down to her butt cheeks, man. They did. I had to show you, otherwise, you would not believe me. You would not. You'd call me a liar. If I said that girl's dreads went all the way down to her bum cheek, to her cleft, even. And I've got to talk loud because that music, man, I've got to talk up over it. So maybe you won't see a fire show because of the music. But everybody is here at the Lotus Bar. Now they usually put on a pretty good fire show. They do. But as you can see, Pretty good, cool place to be. Of an evening. Or of a daytime. Not any time at all really. Oh man. What do I do? <laughs> I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find somewhere safe to sit and chill. Spark one up. Yes. And I should have brought well. I thought a tin, it'd be warm by now. So I may have to buy a bottle of beer. You all right? Yeah. Cool. Can I, can I get you on my camera? Because sure. you're really smiley. Cool. You're having, you're having a good time here. Yeah. Hotel. Oh, it's yeah. It is awesome. It's amazing. It is cool. Disappointing sunset though, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It was yeah. all right. Never yeah. mind. Cool. Cheers. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye bye. Yes, man. It's a cool place, Hotel. Really like it. Hang on, we've got the young surface. Oh cool, I can film this. That was good. Contestant number two. <laughs> oh you you got it wrong mate. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. Go on. Awesome. 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 Oh, and this, this lady's having a lesson, isn't it? Oh, cool place, man. <laughs> a British Bulldog, look. Oi, Gator, you up to? Oi, mate. <laughs> He's ignoring me, I'm speaking his language and everything. Oh man, what a cool spot. Sire Beach, Kotel. Wicked. Wicked. Right, I'm going to film those guys with a BFC, which I will do the fire show with and everything. So, you want to see me? 
BFC Cinematic Films, Sean King. There'll be a link in the description. So guys, I appreciate you watching. The, this is Kotel busy. As it should be. It's proper. It's awesome. I, mean, I really like it. So I appreciate you watching. Stay until the end. Until next time. Au revoir.